Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 75, recorded on February 13th, 2020. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. And then I hear no Dewey J. Dewey J's muted. <laughs> How about Dewey J? There we go. Ah. I'm Agent Lady Anthrax. And I'm Agent Vane. And we've and we got a show filled with didact. Not didact, like I keep wanting to say for some reason. <laughs> the old uh, didact global challenge, and it's taken over my web camera. Don't know what's going on. It's just crazy. Anyways. Oh, all those layers. And as well as the other Tesla liberation lack something cha thing going on. And of course the decoding challenge is a thing. Which we were doing before the show. So fun stuff. <laughs> that's uh why we're late. Yeah. And that's the whole reason. <laughs> so I'm well, sorry yeah. for that. It had nothing to do with Minecraft. That'll be next week. Grilled cheese, grilled cheese. But that's a, that's another story. Can I hide a dead drop in Minecraft? You really want to get Ooh. a couple layers deep. See, has anyone hiked for your dead drop yet? Oh, I kind of forgot about that one, but <laughs> get to that in a bit. <laughs> you want, you want to tell us about it? You want to tell us about your stuff? Yeah, so if, if we're on the subject of it. Um, so right when I was starting to do the dead drops, uh, we went, we killed a, a resistance bath, uh, operation call me Cape maybe. So, I mean, Hey, they got it up. It stood up for checkpoint. And then we went and got it down. I congratulated the team that threw it on telegram. Um, it was really good op. So props to the res for that. We tried to block it, but couldn't <laughs> so we were on a takedown but it was a uh, Appalachian Trail portal for one of the anchors so while it was up there decided might as well hide a dead drop and send out all the information for it I think there was a via Lux pin in that one so Ooh. pretty good stuff and as far as I know it's still up there so I should reshare the clue for that just so people are aware yeah you can throw it on the, the show if you want Something or not, or not. Or not. <laughs> what I, about I, you, Dewey Jay? What you been up to? I'm trying to get it. I, I should probably go hike it to make sure it's actually still there. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where it's at. Well, it was there. It really was there. Don't tell them where it is. They gotta find it based. I on was gonna clue. say the clue is in your Telegram channel. Yeah, if they're dedicated. What, what's the Telegram channel? That, that's good. It's in Vanguard, so I'm gonna go forward the actual clue for it into Agent Academy Telegram chat. Another reason for you to check the chat. And if you want to keep up with Vane's antics as a, a Vanguard or Vanguard, you can go to the Telegram channel and follow along the discussion. Vanguard. There we go. I forwarded over the the all of the images. If you want to bring that up, I mean, you can. Got all the images on there. We got the dead drop clue. Oh, do I need to bring something up? I mean, you can. You don't have to. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, if they want to go look at it, it's, it's, it's just a vanguard telling you that like, you need to do something. You can like van await it. You can bring it out and be like, "Here, look at this this thing on Agent Academy chat that you should be in." And if you be in there, and if you don't want your account banned, you, you <laughs> might put that up. <laughs> it's it's coming. I'm working on. It. Oh, there's a grilled cheese. Look at that. Oh, look at that beautiful oh. triangle of cheese. Is that cheese as well? No. That's yeah, blue so, cheese. I mean, look, see, blue fields. Blue fields. I there you love, go. I like that. Oh, is that the clue? That was that was one of the clue. Like it's it's a little more well hidden um, than what it is in that photo. So it's behind the broom. <laughs> <laughs> but it's up there. It's up there. I, I gotta go confirm that it's still up there, but. 
Some geocacher might have picked it up. <laughs> You're like, what the heck is this ingress? Geocacher wouldn't wouldn't loot. It's like the the muggles who who would who would take yeah. it as a souvenir. That's true. They well, there's some that would, but for the most part, they would they would probably leave it alone. So, were you leaving stuff alone this week, Dewey J? Because you've been doing some some of that um, what you call it geocaching. Geocache? I, I, no, I didn't. Yeah, I left stuff alone this week. It's getting kind of cold. It's like five degrees outside here with twenty mile an hour wind. So it's it's time to go out and play some ingress. Um, it's been, been kind of a busy week. I did a little searching for the tesserae because I know we last time we said okay, the first one to find the tesserae. So I I hacked and hacked and hacked, and of course no tesserae yet. Um, but I've been keeping that sojourner alive, uh, and I've I've got a new kind of a new plan. Um, I'm going to try to hack twice a day because I know I'm going to forget. Oh, yeah. That's, so that's one in the morning, hard. one in the evening. So when I do forget, I'll cover my butt. So, so far, that's working out. And that has uh, come in handy a lot. Like, what's your what's your streak currently? What are you at? Oh, uh, uh, however many days since the beginning of the year. So it's like, what, 45, something like that? Yeah. 40 something like that. Yeah. Yeah. buffer. Is yeah. nice. What's so your I'll, I'll forget right at like 156 because I got 157 days. So my my luck. But I'll, I'll really work on it. Um, did a little bit of fielding as usual. I did have a return to my cell nemesis, the one frog that was the active player, popped up on the map again today after I don't know six eight months. He threw two legs of a field. Of course, I had it down in about 40 minutes, and so I don't think he had time to get to the other end. But it's good no to see somebody for you. Still alive. Yeah, no fields for you. But um, and, and as we'll probably talk about, we've been uh, just kind of letting things decay and uh, flipping some certain things to make some some room for a challenge. Sounds good. And Lady Anthrax, what's your sojourner up to? Um, well, let me, let me <laughs> Surprise question So, my current Sojourner is Everybody break out your phone Is, um, one day Sorry <laughs> Zero <laughs> You're the winner But well, what's everybody's max streak? Yeah, you got them there and I'm I, at 44 I, days right now I usually don't have one day sojourner. Like, I'm definitely not retired. It's just that yesterday it was raining really hard. And, like, since I got Onyx, like, I don't try to hack every day. I usually do. But if I don't, it's not the end of the world. And you just caught me on a day when it was really, really raining two days ago. So. Sorry about that. Yeah. I mean, somehow my current hacking streak is only three days. So, <laughs> uh, and my so, all time was uh, 412. Ooh. Which sucks. So what I'm hearing is, what I'm hearing is, I'm winning right now with 44 days. There you go. What's your total? The way I'm looking at it. <laughs> the way I'm looking at any, it. Anyone in chat that's in the 1800 club now that we're we've hit that milestone? Wow. I think it was a uh, time seven. Fedorian says up to 961. Yeah, because I I lost. Wow. I had an original streak. I think I told this story uh, like two episodes ago, but I, I had an original streak. Lost it on day 777 because I wanted to sleep in by like 30 minutes. So I was doing the, the 12 hour a day hack to keep it running for, for that long. So pretty much the way I was timing it, if anyone out there is still trying to go for Sojourner, try to do the 12 hour increment if you can. I was going and hacking on my way into work and on my way out of work. And that was kind of roughly hitting that like 12 hour mark. Uh, and then on the weekends, just making sure that I got out in the morning and well, I'd, like to have, I'd like to have a little app that I mean, I know it tells you the last time that you were in the scanner, but I'd like to have a little app that, that you know, tells me bing, hey, you, you hacked 10 hours ago. Bing, you hacked 11 hours ago. You know, just send me all those little all those little reminders. Now, I know I could put a reminder in every time, but shoot, I can't remember to hack. Let you know. an egg timer. I bet oh, it's a lot easier if you have a couch portal. Right. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it is probably a lot easier. Those. I mean, I have run across the alley in, in uh, my daughter's shoes and just shorts and no shirt to, to make sure that works. But uh, And at least you stopped yours on a good number. 
thing. Like it was. Yeah. By complete accident. Right? <laughs> I was just like, uh, I'm going to have to like look up. Does this number, like, is it s- special anyway? Does it signify anything? Because otherwise, like, I have no I'll clue. Triple sevens, it's lucky. Lucky Sojourner. Oh, triple go. sixes. Right. Well, or, I got the for that. It's a jackpot. Seven, 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 jackpot. At least I didn't wait an, another, you know, eight days and get four twenty because everybody would be like, "Oh, funny dude, uh, real funny." You know, I I do know a couple of people that stopped on that one on purpose. A couple of people <laughs> that stopped on six, 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 thirteen, thirty one. Um, all kinds of different. I didn't want mine to look intentional. After I got Onyx, I decided that I wasn't going to go out of my way to keep it, but I wasn't going to go out of my way to kill it. I was just gonna. Be as normal as possible. Yeah. So, yeah. and so it looks, like in our, looks like in our chat, touch too much, uh, hit three seventy two right now. And nice. Simon nice. said two is at six thirty nine right now. Oh, so nice! People that are running, running and, the long numbers. And did Why you did find it was a big like weight, a relief off your shoulders, like when you just let it end, just like oh well, I don't have to like go yeah, out every like, day, twice a day for sure. Yeah, I don't miss worrying about that. Like, I remember drifting off to sleep. Like, did I remember to hack a portal today? Yeah. It was sad when I was mine, but then less sad when it actually looked like it was an intentional kill because it was like, oh, sweet. I can just say that I planned for this. (laughs) (laughs) It's not a bug. It's a feature. Yeah. I remember the next day after, like, just forgetting and just going, oh, crap, and then, like, Five minutes later, it's like, well, well, I don't have to like leave the. Ha- I can stay in my PJs today. Like it was like, oh, this is great. Free, you know, vacation, vacation. So, anyway, good stuff. And um, I've been doing the same thing this week. Um, is uh, you do, EJ, just kind of letting stuff uh, drop, and it it sucked because like coming up to portals and and being neutral, and it's normal ones that I'm like, okay, I can throw you know three fields off this one, and then being like, oh no, I can't. I gotta yeah. wait, and so I gotta wait till what? It probably starts at like noon or something. Yeah, noon tomorrow. I think it is. <sighs> yeah, yeah, and that's that's been the oh, God. I want to throw a blocker. It's the field is just you know the cell is so darn open. You have uh, your uh, your soft banks and your your field AP boxes all set. You try to make an eight hundred layer field, Dewey J, and then you can satisfy <laughs> both of those goals. I think we're just going to we're just going to re- uh, bring up our uh, AP generator and just kind of just run that sucker in the ground. But you know, eight hundred fields doesn't sound like a lot but until you start doing the math, and it's like, oh, that is a lot. And, I remember going for five hundred in that challenge in twenty seventeen, and that I got it. Um, just ground it out, but it felt like a lot. Oh, nice. You beat me in that one because during the X05, which for anyone that is, isn't familiar with it, the X05 uh, mind controller, same thing, except it was 2000 for the max tier. What? So, That's crazy. yeah, that, that was the equivalent of taking mind controller and going from, you know, locked badge to gold badge, essentially. Um, and I was moving that week that that was happening so i got the bare minimum i got 100 i unlocked the badge and then i was just like i need to go pack boxes (laughs) and that was for 14 days right i believe so yeah so this this one's less but we have less days to do it in but the per day like this one's 80 fields a day basically uh that one 2000 divided by 14 who wants to do that math Um, Uh, too many (laughs) so public that is 142.8. So not quite double, but close. Uh, so this is good. And, and um, okay, so I'm going to stop talking about that because we're going to get to that in a minute in the news. Also, just for people in the chat that are watching this on Twitch Live, I did do an update last week after the show. So the subscribers, every month you're subscribed, you get an avatar for the length of subscription basically um and they added a whole bunch of new slots so i i changed them around and now you'll get like a recursed one if you stay subscribed for a certain amount of time because it's um, nice so you'll start seeing those pop up in chat i I know um uh, jbj blaze had one at one point um i don't know where they all went i saw one earlier maybe that was me uh, or maybe it's this chat. But anyway, so look for that if you're in the chat. And with that, let's go ahead and move on into 
uh, discussions, and we'll go straight into the Didact Challenge because we've already been talking about it. Yep. And this yep. this starts on February 14th, Valentine's Day at 1900 UTC, and ends February 24th at 1900 UTC. Uh, and there's, if you haven't seen it yet, there's infographics going around all the different channels so you can find your flavor either a neutral one or a resistance one or an enlightened one so just look for the telegrams for those uh, we'll, we'll link to at least one um, and if anybody wants to make one feel free to put it up on, on the site <laughs> but it will give you all the information I don't know if it's I mean it's not really that difficult to explain so uh, we, we went over it last week what's got everybody's some goal that, yeah you got some bonuses that are in there that uh, double drop rate of Ada and Jarvis uh, double AP for resonators destroyed double AP for links destroyed double AP for fields destroyed so it, it, that's pretty good balance I think because you've got you're getting AP for destroying things and you're working towards the challenge of your building things so it's kind of kind of encouraging you to go both ways. And I was just telling chat, like, as soon as everybody started talking about decay, I went and I looked at the Intel map because I've just kind of been letting things go and prep for this. And I don't know what happened, but there's just fields everywhere right now. So I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to go to the next town over and uh, clear out some blue micro fields and then microfield that area. Leave them, leave them, so, leave them. Oh no, I have to because everything's fielded. Well, okay. And we also have uh, stretch goals. So as a, a global challenge for everyone, if we get to 5.5 million fields, we'll have uh, two times the drop rate for ADAs and Jarvis's. And if we get to 8 million, we will get that plus double AP for resonator link and field destruction. Yep. And your badge tiers, you get 100 to get the first badge. 300 gets you next tier up. And 800 is the top. So the, the one thing I don't see is how long does that um, bonus last if we meet those goals? Uh, I think that was said, but it doesn't seem to be in this. Let me see if I can dig that up. I don't think it's in that. that uh... And it'll be weird because if it's after the event and now people just want the double AP, so it's like uh, people need to put stuff up so I can destroy it. <laughs> and if no one's putting up stuff and just trying to destroy stuff, then uh, there's issues there. You just you're gonna have to use a whole bunch of uh, virus to flip things and keep going. So if we succeed, if globally we are successful, the bonus for the two times drop rate for Ada's and Jarvis, along with well, yeah. So the just the Ada and Jarvis rate will stay the same until March second, and then stretch goal will be two times drop rate of Aiden Jarvis, along with the double AP, and that will also continue until March 2nd. Okay, so like another week. Yep, we'll get everything. And you got the extra day, because it's a leap year. And if we fail, there's no negative consequence. The bonus God. for AP just ends, along with the bonus drop rate. Which, is, which I think's good, and, and Brian stated a couple times that he's not a believer in the negative consequences Absolutely, and the the vanguards. We've also kind of discussed that, and I think pretty much everyone was in agreement that, yeah, negative is not really the way to go. <laughs> yeah. And and I think it's funny because y you know people like to complain whether something's one way or the other, and, and so you have, uh, you know, the people upset that it's only eight hundred control fields, which I'm like, um, oh, you do that? I'm like, I'm not shooting for that. Like, what's everybody shooting for? I'm going. I'm just going for 300. I'm going for the maximum 800 because I had told myself that for all of the little Nemesis challenge events, I was going to get the max, and I feel like this is going to be even more difficult than it was for Aurora, just because of sure volume of field numbers and like I haven't drawn up plans yet for an AP generator. I have an old one from X05, but it's not the most efficient on SoftBank usage. Yeah. 
Um, it actually requires us to flip and kill the portal rather than flip and move to another portal. So, uh, there's a there's a Telegram chat that I'm in where it's pretty much like you gotta hit max on every single one of these to stay, and I'm like, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I am going to slack and only go for the first one, but I, I might hit the 300, but it's rural areas. It's kind of hard to do that. We're, we're used to throwing bigger fields instead of a lot of fields. So, yeah. Yeah. That's and nice I, that they, they give you, you know, if you're a rural player, you can still hit that. You can hit that mark probably. Yeah. And, that, and I'm going to go for the hundred for sure. And then see how I feel after that for the 300. <laughs> I, I would love to go for the 800, but I think it's, it's like, I would have to travel to a different city to do that I think because I only yeah. have like four um, uh, soft banks and or 14 and I just don't think I, I, I don't know um, I think it's good that they do smaller challenges and then I also do think it is good for them to do the big ones that it's like there's yeah. no way I could do it around here or Dewey J could do it in his area but there's other people that are in places that have so many that this does feel like a, a gimme for them and so i think it's good for them to have the um the super hard ones for that are super hard for other people it, yeah. it gives everybody a challenge and uh, if you know the history behind that challenge when you see that badge later on you're like oh you worked for that right and you know maybe one day they'll think about putting some kind of tech in there multiplying the fields or whatever you get in rural areas to give you more fields per each one or something. I don't know. They're they're. It's, it's just a different game in that area. I mean, you, yeah. you just you play. Yeah. I can say there has been a lot of discussion around this, just like how to improve and, and make it more fair for everybody. That is, you know, if you're a rural agent, these kind of things can get difficult. If you don't have the churn, you don't have the turnover or you don't have enough uh, soft banks and flip cards to where you can just have an AP generator and just keep rerunning it. Um, so balance is definitely something that's being considered. That's yeah. awesome. That is awesome to hear. And I think that's pretty much the challenge. So everybody get out there and, and field what you can, uh, as little or as much as you can, because if we can get those stretch goals, uh, we can get more stuff more i i really want the eight just for the double ap uh for that extra week double ap will be nice so i can um take the opportunity to beat vane to 16. <laughs> <laughs> i'm in the 15 forever clubs doesn't really matter to me you'll get there what level are you at or cursed now 14. 14 oh you're catching up nice get there. how you far up 15 are you um, I'm about halfway there. Oof, I got I got work to do. <laughs> You're still ahead of me. I just just trying to trying to play more. Cause I gotta I gotta beat you. Yeah, but like the the AP that'll come out of this event is okay. is gonna be a lot because yeah. even. Even if you're just throwing the fields, you know, 800 fields is no yeah. laughing amount of AP. And then if you add in uh, going anywhere to smack, getting the the two times AP, like. Maybe I should AP. go for 800 after Yeah, they don't call them AP generators for, for no reason. I mean, it's that's the idea is you throw a bunch of those little bitty fields and it just adds up real quick. Yeah, so I think I'm probably going to be extremely lazy with this AP generator idea that kind of entered my head on, I don't know, Tuesday, somewhere around there. But we have an old one that we used locally here for XO5 fields that worked for a few people. But... I've been considering using my couch portal as the bank. <laughs> <laughs> or the stable. Like 2 a.m. Um, just be like, all right, and just lay in bed and get this field. But no, that's uh, I don't want to have to do the key farming for that because it would so be just have to bring oh, keys. Oh, you need key farming for it tomorrow. <laughs> I totally will if you send me the plan. I'll have to see if the plan works with that portal in the mix, but. <laughs> I'll draw my own and I'll I'll do it. And then you start charging five bucks to use the uh, the portal. I've got keys. <laughs> Rental. <laughs> and, and it would be Airbnb. Airbnb experience. There you go. AP box. Download a Uber's account. Must have. 
And and what sucks is any other year, uh, the first would have been on the first Saturday, but because it's uh, you know because we, we got an extra day uh, that falls on the Saturday, and so it pushed because then we would have had dub uh, quadruple AP, right? Or would they have just done probably trip? But anyway, maybe maybe they'll do something anyway because that'd be fun. Maybe they'll forget. <laughs> oh, wait. Anyway. Forgot about that day. So uh, let us know what you're planning to do for Didact Challenge and, and then of how you did afterwards. And I don't know. Maybe we'll talk about it on the show. Well, it'll still be going on uh, next week if we have, you know, a show next week. We'll so. be too busy making feel. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we get to touch base and see like where we're at. That sounds good. Even if that's it. <laughs> just, uh, we're I out in the field. Fields. Okay, so we also have some info from uh Pac from um uh, PA Chapeau, the Truth Seeker. He he posted round seven of uh the next drop uh for the Tesselation would be in Taiwan. Yep. That's you know, I, I, started, I started reading that kind of close. It, it, they mentioned that they had to make some changes for, I can't remember exactly how they said it. I think it was um, safety reasons. I don't think they actually said safety. But it seemed to me like they were planning on maybe doing that drop in China somewhere. Yeah. And then I think that the, the virus and, the, and things are like, eh, well, we don't want to do that. Yeah. So maybe the the coronavirus had a little bit of an effect on it but um the hint in the graphic that he he dropped uh on the first one uh some people recognized it as the logo for taipei public mm-hmm. library and then there was another part of the graphic that was a character um and so from that they kind of guessed that it was at the children's library the taipei, taipei public library I uh, thought that was like the Transformers logo. That's, uh, that's the first thing cool. I thought. Oh, it's Transformers. <laughs> nope. Um, and then the next day he said the drop was at 1130 local local time. So I I, had, I assumed that drop happened. I don't know. I haven't heard. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to assume that it did too. Yeah. And, and then uh, today he, uh, just this afternoon, I think it was, he, he uh, put another post out and said there's going to be live drops by the end of February in the Perpetua Hexathlon cities in the Western Hemisphere. So if you're in San Antonio, Salt Lake City, Miami, Buenos Aires, or Tijuana, keep your eyes open for those live drops. If you're enlightened. So, so Vane... Which city are you headed for? Are you, are you Miami. Going to there is, or I'll Miami. be in Miami. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually both be in Miami. Oh, well, there you go. Y'all, y'all gonna drive by Huntsville and pick me up on the way? I mean, if you want, we can probably pick you up from the airport. <laughs> the, the airport in Huntsville? Oh, down, down in uh, down in <laughs> what? What were your options? Orlando, like Orlando. We'll just came by. You, know. you can practice your live drop and drop one as you go by. <laughs> <laughs> practice right in my face as you're driving by. Honk the horn. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, we also had the decoding challenge uh, started. It's the Alchemist. Yep. And so far there's been uh, roughly 800 solvers with I Love Math being the number one. And the Hive Mind, which is normally number one, is number 12. Yep. So, but it's still uh, staying up on the leaderboard. Um, so it, uh, the hive mind has solved all eight challenges in a total lapse time of six hours, 45 minutes, 53.9 seconds. So evidently the hive mind figured they could take a little time off and still hold the lead. They were right. So, and we were working on that just a little bit before the show. Yeah, on the, where is it? Um, oh, I don't want to show that. <laughs> well, you just did. Well, it's it's a flash. I don't want to give any spoilers out, but it's the first <laughs> part of the puzzle. Um, go there's back an image, the- says stuff. You can go to the, we'll put it in the show notes too, but you can go to the uh, community. I always want to just say forums, but that's like, you know, 
<laughs> 20 years ago was born. That's so cheap plus. Right. So uh, anyway, you'll find this image there. They'll send you the link and then you'll have to read it and figure out how to do this. And then if you figure out how to do this, it'll give you a, um, a code that then you put into tiny.cc slash whatever that code is. And then that will bring up another code. And I believe if you solve that code, then you put that into the scanner. There may be another step in there. Uh, that's as far as I've gotten, uh, that we've gotten and collectively it's the Academy. Yeah, it was collectively. We were all just yelling things and he was actually solving. Oh. While we were yelling things. I, I felt like, uh, the support there was, was collective. So, uh, it was all good. I am hungry though. I want to. I want to grill cheese now. So get it. It's it's um it's good stuff. So good luck on the challenge. I like. I feel like it would be good. Maybe after they give out the solutions, if they do, if we go through some of these that we've done personally and just solve it from beginning to end, we can say, hey, this is all spoilers. So if you don't want it, don't watch this. And it can just be like short videos. But I think if people see the process, uh, at least because you can do this in so many different ways that mm -hmm. it might encourage more people to try the next uh, decoding challenges and the, the ones they do on the regular. Uh, so we'll do that. So I'm going to try to finish this one and then submit it and I will get on the board with my one solution since I got screwed out of the first one. Yes, so, bitter. So, well, Pixel, Pixel Bytes in chat says that that's just the tip of the iceberg, so you might have a lot more Son work. Of a God. <laughs> so I will have zero then. <laughs> we, I mean, hey, it's, it's better than what I've got at the moment. I'm still like, I need to put time aside to, to learn this, so I haven't done any of it yet. Well, so see, maybe we can do one together as a video oh. and uh, maybe we can get some people, we can live stream it and get some people in chat to help us along. And even if it's just ideas, hey, try, you know, try using this or that. And um, I don't know, but that may be something cool to do just in general is kind of have a collective academy, solve the puzzles together kind of streams. Like a hive mind. Well, I didn't want to go there, but okay. <laughs> like an academy hive mind. Academy mind. Like a study hall. Yeah. A study group. A st yes, a study hall in the academy. <laughs> so, uh, that's, you know, that's what we don't have anything else. Anybody have anything they want to talk about? No. Not that I can think of other than. Big triangles. That's all I can think of right now is just fields. I already, I just went into Hangouts and I, I messaged one of our agents that had the draw for the, the old school AP engine. I'm like, hey, you still got that spreadsheet kicking around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you might want to, you know, check out Huntsville, Alabama and design a nice AP generator and send that my way, feel free. Yeah. So here we go. Five or six capsules with, you know, keys and all the stuff needed. We've got a grilled cheese related conversation topic in the chat. What is the best cheese for grilled cheese? That's what we can end the show on. Mm. <laughs> Velveeta sounds good. You know, I would, have said, I would have said cheddar, but Vane's grilled cheese with just American cheese is, is really good, actually. Oh, is that good? Butter. It's all yeah. the butter. The butter. Butter is the best cheese for <laughs> grilled true. cheese. Forget the actual cheese part. The only downfall we we could we could really hang on him was there was no Academy logo burnt into the cheese. Next um, time, those toasters are coming out. We're working on that um, yeah. because of the Chinese New Year and the Corona. It's going to take a little bit longer, but hopefully we'll have them by Christmas next year. The uh, toasters that will burn the Agent Academy logo in it for you. Uh, so go ahead and sign up and. <laughs> Or our indeed pre order. As soon as they finish with the link laser, that's the next one. Link laser. Just imagine grilled cheese cut into triangles and then layered, layered field of grilled cheese. Grilled cheese yeah. triangles. Three layers right there. Bottom cheese top. Yeah. So, so do you feel like you need to cut your grilled cheese in triangles? 
It's not a grilled cheese. It's not a triangle. You got you to you you make triangles. So that's it's a, a moral imperative. If someone gave you like a square grilled cheese, would you eat it? Honestly. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. I will. Uh, <laughs> well, we cut into triangles first, right? You wouldn't just eat a square grilled cheese. But what if you don't have a knife? Just go you after. Rip it. it. <laughs> yeah. I, a picky eater. I'm good either way, but I would prefer one in triangles. Because yeah. it's all going to be in mouth-shaped pieces really fast. That's right. It's not going to last. I love I love grilled cheese with, right. some, ch- with some chili or some Brunswick stew. Ooh, there we go. Okay, we're getting hungry now. Yeah. So everybody go eat some triangles, no matter what it is, and then go out tomorrow after... Uh, you know, lunch after you have another triangle sandwich and throw some triangles, bunches of them. And we'll see y'all next week sometime. Uh, We'll throw the time somewhere, maybe five minutes before the show, but uh, (laughs) TG, Twitter, all that stuff. And thanks for tuning in once again. Thanks for coming back, Lady Anthrax. Code? Code? Thanks for having me. Code? Okay, we'll give you the code. Uh, This one you could, you might guess. It's a real easy puzzle. It's just AA Didact AA. So go put that in there. I tested it earlier when I misspelled it and it worked. So hopefully it still works because I did remember to go back and change it. Things happen. Anyway. Lady Anthrax, thank you for showing up. Thank you for having me. The rose between all the thorns. (laughs) <laughs> all right. Or you're calling us thorns? I think you did. I'm a thorn in a couple people's. I'm not a rose. I'm a, I'm oh, She's a thorn amongst thorns. Uh, I'm a thorn amongst um roses. There you okay. go. It, it is. It is going to be Valentine's Day tomorrow, so we'll, we'll take. It. And you spell uh, dact. Just like you did, JBJ Blaze. It should be A A D I D A C T A A. So that's good. Uh, JBJ is double checking. If it's wrong, I will fix it after the show. <laughs> By the time you hear this, it'll work. So thanks, everyone, and we'll see y'all next week. Bye.